Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Today is February 17th, 2024. I had this vision on February 13th, 2024, and the Lord gave me a word for it today. This is the vision. Today, while in prayer, these words kept coming to me over and over. Great devastation. Total devastation. I continued praying and began asking the Lord about what I was hearing. He then gave me a vision where I found myself looking down upon the landscape. I could tell it was the west coast as I saw and recognized the coastline. I began to see many earthquakes occurring, smaller ones increasing in size that then led to a huge one. As I watched, I saw buildings begin shaking and then start collapsing and falling down. I saw the ground opening up in many places. I saw people in panic running in every direction. Cars and buildings began exploding and fires were happening everywhere. My attention was then brought toward the ocean and I saw a wall of water now moving down the coastline. It appeared to begin in the area of Canada and was moving toward the coastline all the way to Mexico. While watching all of this take place, at the time, it felt to me as if the earth shook for what seemed like an hour. Earthquake after earthquake after earthquake. I saw every building shake and come down. The houses built on the sides of the hills all slid down and burst into flames. The entire time I'm seeing all of this death and destruction, I kept hearing total devastation, total devastation. I could not do anything but weep for all the death I was witnessing. And I heard myself ask the Lord, what about all the Christians who live there? And the Lord answered and said to me, the rain falls on the just and the unjust alike. The people have been warned for many years that this earthquake was coming. Many that heard were ready, but most were not. And the vision ended. Today, on the 17th, the Lord gave me this word to go with that. And the scripture he gave me is Jeremiah 25, verses 4 through 7. And the Lord hath sent unto you all his servants the prophets, rising early and sending them. But ye have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear. They said, Turn ye now again, now every one from his evil way, and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord hath given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. And go not after other gods to serve them, and to worship them, and provoke me not to anger with all the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, saith the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. And this is the word he gave me. My son, I speak this word of warning to my body on the west coast. Great devastation is at your door, and many, many souls will step into eternity. Some people have prepared, for I have spoken to them, and they have heeded the warning. But sadly, Many have heard my voice and have chosen to reject it and will perish in their sin. This coming judgment has been set, and all appeals have been overruled in courts of heaven. The sin of the West Coast has now grown, and the stench of it has permeated heaven. West Coast, prepare for great devastation. My son, speak to the East Coast. For your day of great devastation is nigh. Your thighs are uncovered and your sins are exposed. The evil that comes from the East Coast covers this nation with lies and blood. I will shake the East Coast and none will be left standing. Babylon, your kingdom and rule are now removed. Your greatness will be taken away and the people of the world will hiss and wag their finger at your destruction. The mighty Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and will never rise again. Your greatness will never be spoken of again, as fires burns all that remains. My son, speak to the middle of Babylon, for I am going to split the nation in half. Great devastation is ready to be unleashed, and the mighty river widened, 
to become uncrossable. The people of the middle lands will be covered with water, and the sin from the great lake to the gulf will be washed away. The great mystery Babylon will cease to exist and become the home of every foul creature. Repent now and turn from your wicked ways, for soon many of you will be standing before me. My son, I hear your cries and I see your tears for the lost sheep. However, when they stand before me, they will have no excuse. I have warned and warned for many years, using my servants to shout, Repent now! But many have ignored their shouts. Just as in Jeremiah's day, the people ignored the warnings and perished. So too, the people of today ignore, laugh, and mock my servants. Repent now. Prepare for great devastation. Keep your heart pure and clean, for you may be standing before me very soon. Weep for the lost and pray for salvation to come to them. Amen, Lord Jesus. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please like and share if led by the Lord to do so. And see the description box for the transcript of this word. And if there's anyone out there who's not come to the Lord Jesus, repent now. Ask for forgiveness and surrender your life to him. Time is short. Thank you. God bless you. Bye for now.